Today I'm going to show you how to update your Navionics card. I have a Navionics Platinum card. And just go ahead and slide it in the side of your laptop. Or if you have the card reader, you can use this for a USB. Go ahead and click Downloads and Updates. It's going to take a minute to detect it. Okay, so it shows that I have nautical charts that can be updated, sonar charts, and community edits. I'm going to go ahead and hit Start. From there, it's going to download all the new nautical chart data, all the sonar log chart data, and all the community edits, just like that. So it's going to guide you through everything. When it's done, you can plug it in your, your chart plotter, and it's going to be the freshest data you have, the most updated, and the best detail you're going to get, just like that. Okay, it's just wrapping up here, and I thought it would be a good time to tell you what all these are. Um, nautical charts is the first thing that they're updating, and that is just the, the basic standard charts. Sonar charts is really the deal. That's what separates Navionics. That's the HD charts. So that um, that's always updating. It's it's the You want to have that on there. The other one is community edits, which it's going to be preparing for in just a second. And what that is is that is anytime someone submits something, through their app or uh, anything else, maybe it's a good fishing spot, a hazard, things like that. It's really easy to do as a user, but it's also really helpful to have on your card because you could find those extra spots, you could find those those hazard areas, and it's, it's just great to have all three of these on one card. Okay, so it's just about done, and it probably took 10 minutes, you know, and it's just going to vary depending on um, how much data and how long it's been since you updated it. But pretty quick process. There you go. It says your card is now up to date. Um, and it's, it's ready to go. So plug that into your chart plotter and enjoy the freshest data.